setting an interim plan will take a snapshot or a copy of your start and finish dates of all the tasks that you have in your project after your project has begun. And up to 10 interim plans can be saved and set as stages throughout your project's timeline to go back and compare against your baseline with. Now if it sounds like setting an interim plan is a lot like setting a baseline, let me go over the differences by coming up here. On the Quick Access Toolbar, I added the command Project Statistics. And as you recall in setting a baseline training video that when you set it, it'll take a snapshot of all these five fields here. Or setting an interim plan just takes a snapshot of the start and finish. Okay, let me close out. Now, why would you want to go ahead and set an interim or interim plans? See if this makes sense. If my project's end date, the baseline for it, that is, is to finish on October the 19th, if I set interim plans along the way, I can take a look at that point in time and say, okay, here's interim plan one, compare it against the baseline, and I can see that, okay, no delays. Interim plan two, maybe no delays. Interim plan three, for those tasks is where we really got pushed out. And was it because we had resources that we didn't use before? Maybe they're not as good. In any case, you can go ahead and go to that point in time by looking at those set interim plans. Now, you don't need to set a baseline in order to set your interim plan, but to me it only makes sense to set a baseline before you begin your project so you can later compare your interim plans against. So if you haven't set your baseline, then go ahead and do it, but I already have mine set. And to verify that it's been set, we want to come up here and click on the Project tab, go to the Schedule group, click on the Set Baseline drop-down arrow, and click on Set Baseline, and if your baseline says Last Saved, then it was set, okay? And coincidentally, in the same window, is where you go to set your interim plans. So before we go ahead and set it, let me click Cancel. Make sure you click the Save button before you set your interim plans, which obviously would make sense because if you didn't save your work before you saved your interim plan, you'd be saving something prior to your change, if you made any changes. Because remember, interim plans are going to take a snapshot of your actuals here for your start and finish dates. So when we set our first interim plan, if we haven't made any changes, then I guess it doesn't matter, but in any case, I recommend always saving it. Before you set it, then come up here and click on Set Baseline. Go to Set Baseline, because we need to go through the baselines to get the feature to set the interim plan. And we're going to always copy from the actual start and finish fields, which you can copy from other fields, but for this training video, we're going to keep it simple. And we're going to copy it into our interim plan fields. Now, the interim plan 1 includes both the snapshot of the start field and the finish field, but it will be distinguished by start 1, finish 1 for interim plan 1, and then interim plan 2, 3, and so on. So the default is going to be interim plan 1, so let's go ahead and select it, click OK, and it's saved. Now let's go ahead and make some changes and then set our second interim plan. So let's go to task 7 and you can see over in the Gantt chart the black progress bar when you hover over it. Writer in the pop-up has a 50% completion of the uh, task. Let's go ahead and mark it as 100% by right clicking on the task and in the mini formatting toolbar click on 100% and let's say over here in the actual start column or the date for this task that they actually didn't start until a day later on the 9th. Okay, and let's go to the next task and let's go ahead and right click on that and go to 100% and then let's go ahead and be sure to save this before we set our second interim plan so we're not setting it to something prior to the change because if we didn't save it and we set it then it wouldn't include the change here. Okay, so come up here, click on set baseline to set baseline, click on set interim plan we're still going to copy the actuals here, the actual start and actual finish fields, but not into interim plan 1, but into the interim plan start and finish fields 2 for the entire project and click OK. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.